welcome to the channel thank you everyone for tuning in so for today's video we are going to be looking at the sn0036 it's a new release from san martin i just unboxed this not too long ago so this is a follow-on video um and in the first impressions or unboxing video uh i said that you know the initial pictures kind of put me off a bit uh it did look out of proportion uh did look slightly weird not too much of a fan of that brown dial with the orange bezel. Uh, to me, it looked like a bit of a cross between an MM300 and a Planet Ocean. Uh, but then with the color options, you know, as I said in the unboxing, blah, blah, blah. Um, but yeah, after I opened it, took the plastic off and had it in my hand, um, I really did change my mind. And initially, as soon as I took out the box, the dimensions uh, and the proportions uh, really did help change my mind. This watch, for what appears to be a big watch, uh, it is quite compact uh, as i said i expected it to be much bigger now i've had this watch for a few days i uh, really got to grips with it uh and here's some of the things which i really really like about it um is there anything which is a big negative or a deal breaker uh but well, let's find out shall we so the first thing uh going on the dial as i mentioned in the unboxing that san martin dials have been kind of boring um but not now um you know you've got this graded dial it is a matte texture um but it does not look dull at all it doesn't look flat you've got this fume effect where it darkens out towards the edges um really nice color and this one as i said it comes in those ultra deep style colors so you've got this blue with this black bezel you've also got that brown dial with the bright orange bezel um which is a very loud color and then you've got a green i believe uh, and again green's kind of nice um and what i would like if they actually did the blue and purple sort of color option uh, from the actual ultra deep lineup that's a fantastic colorway and it'll be good to see that in this watch because that watch is absolutely huge um yeah and the printing on the dial you know this omega style uh, minute track uh the markers triangles that you've got around the side the batons there's a lot of attention to detail on this dial it has been made extremely well um you've got your san martin logo just below the 12 um just slightly lower than usual is it uh, but obviously you've got these long batons the handset is brilliant you, know, you can visibly see how crisp the handset is uh it's also chamfered slightly so you get loads of reflection from there just take a look at that on both sides the light bouncing off their very sharp hands and to the naked eye you can't see any blemishes any defects which in all honesty we have seen previously now could san martin have put a top cap on the second sand i'm sure they could have and possibly extended that second hand just a touch uh but nothing to complain about these are just you know options for improvement i'm just going by what san martin have previously provided us so that's awesome now i did go over specs and dimensions uh in the unboxing so i'll put them up on screen guys i don't have to repeat that um but what i will say is the nh35 being used in this and i said that about you know the range of homages that i also looked at in the unboxing that you can't do that anymore um this is a dateless watch so please bring on the nh38 it's just lazy lazy watchmaking in the early days yes we accepted that uh, but the nh38s aren't that much more expensive to a consumer right on retail aliexpress there's like a five pound difference so when you're a factory like that and you are making two to three hundred pieces of these um if not more surely you'll get a better price because this is cheap it's 208 pound uh, but i will say it is cheaper than expected usually san martin probably would have put this for 240 or something with the nh35 uh, you better believe that but they have got it around the 200 pound mark which so far for the build quality i'd say is more than passable you've got a lovely clear dome sapphire crystal just look at that clarity there the ceramic bezel insert standard we've seen that you know day in day out the bezel is nice really well made i love that grip you can see the micro detailing there in between the cutouts you've got this sunblasted finish and then polishing on these edges now the rotation i couldn't really put a finger on it what that was in the initial video there is a very slight ring which again not sure you can hear it on on mic but to my ears it's definitely this at the back of the eardrum yeah so that's very strange and, and yeah it is a bit annoying but the bezel does move uh, not as smooth as the older models or some of the other models should i say um quite clicky yep not as refined okay so if i do that you should hear the rings yeah but it's not a deal breaker at all um it's just worth mentioning 
uh, I don't think anybody should have a problem with that. Now moving on to the case, uh, this finishing looks even better than you know some of the other highly finished watches. Uh, look, just look at that crisp transition, that very soft brushing that you can see on the side, satin style with that helium escape valve which is polished uh, and just look at that very wide chamfer going across that length of the case uh, that really does make this case stand out and gives it those big bulky shoulders um, definitely omega style and then you've got the asymmetrical case there slightly bulked out crown guards uh, but that finishing on san martin is very high quality as you guys know um, in those twisted lugs very fine brushing on the inside so this is a very high level of finishing from san martin very well made case uh, and i mentioned in the unboxing that these edges have just been muted uh, which is you know about time guys really good to see that because i've got really nothing to complain and being with san martin i tend to point that out at first so the crown itself very good size it's around the six mil mark you got the san martin hex on there um polished actually so but it still gives you good grip um rotates very smoothly opens and closes as you'd expect no issues very very close to buttery smooth um, and it's got a positive pop and as i said a ghost position the case back is nothing on there so it's not worth looking at uh, and the next thing now the bracelet um, is chunky it's really nice screwing links are standard you know satin brushing on the sides um and this is i just love seeing this just so many things going on i really hate boring watches guys but when we look at this now that satinized brushing linear fashion or a bit more like hairline sorry because yeah you can definitely see um the grain there uh lovely with the light and then you've got these polished edges sort of like chocolate bar style links uh very nice size to links uh so this is going to be very comfortable on wrist when i stick it on later so 20 mil down to 18 millimeters just a very subtle taper which is more than good enough um yeah can't say nothing about that guys that is a really nice bracelet no sharp edges again it's been kind of honed in um i love the transitions here the, the and look how crisp those lines are we've seen pagani design for example have tried to do this kind of finishing um but you can see overrun on those edges they're not crisp and this is super super fine you know the normal clasp with an upgrade which is the extension so on the fly extension push slides out but very good very good uh, that works really nice as well it's very solid when you when you press it in you can feel that this has a very solid build quality so again props to san martin for getting such a really good clasp and Coming back to £208, as I'm showing you guys with the finishing that you've got here, yeah, the NH35, okay, Sapphire Crystal, the clasp, the bracelet level, um, £208 is a very good deal from San Martin. Uh, so let's have a look at the loom and get this bad boy on wrist. So with regards to the loom, no issues there at all. Uh, as good as always, very bright, very evenly applied. Even the handset has a much better match to the hour markers. So no issues there at all. Guys, you will love the loom. So here's the SN0036 on my 6.5 inch wrist. And I really love the way this fits. The watch is super smooth, uh, silky smooth in fact. Uh, looking at the finishing on this bracelet. The clasp is awesome. The on-the-fly adjustment is very, very useful. Um, the links are, you know, exceptional. The case is good, and I love the fit. That 42 millimeter diameter uh, is good. 48 mil log to log, and as I said, you know, even though it's not a few millennial links, you can see, you know, your first link uh, after the end link is actually sitting on the edge of the wrist, so you get a very good comfort on the wrist and great articulation due to those links um have i had any issues on this watch not at all guys i mean i can't really complain about nothing uh yes i can <laughs> and i will so the only thing i can really only get like a very slight moan about is uh no drilled lugs uh and no quick release bars uh so what i think is if you don't have drilled lugs you should at least have quick release spring bars um because it just makes it a lot easier i mean these links in and out if you want to put this on straps and leather straps or whatever because this would be a strap beast um just makes the life easier right you know you don't want to be sitting there damaging your watch trying to you know remove these end links so for me that's what i want to see on others um you get a little squeak from the bracelet now and then that's due to those um obviously screws um and perhaps those screws do need a touch bit of oiling but that's something that you can do as a as a bit of maintenance 
Um, but everything else is really good, man. I wouldn't really change nothing. Uh, I'm very pleased, um, more so than I thought I would be, as already mentioned. So that's it for me, guys. It's a great watch. Definitely one of my recommendations. Definitely one of San Martin's really well-built watches. Uh, and that bezel thing I mentioned earlier, it's not even worth mentioning again because it works fine. Just a little tinny ring in, in the background. Um, so 208 plan, guys, uh, you know, take your pick. Uh, I would definitely choose a very solid you got the clasp, you got exceptional finishing, and it looks pretty good, but just choose the right color option, right? Uh, so that's it from me today, guys. Thank you, as always, for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.